Hi, thanks for joining me today. I'm going to be evaluating the limit as n goes to infinity of n times tan of pi over n without using L'Hopital's rule. It's quite easy to do with L'Hopital's rule, but here's a really, really interesting way we can evaluate this limit without using L'Hopital's rule. Let's get stuck in. Okay, so the way we're going to do this is by using geometry and some shapes. We're going to start by saying n is an even number here, and this is fine just using some basic limit uh, rules. Anyway, we're going to assume n is an even number here, and we're going to still take this limit as n goes to infinity of n times pi over n. What we're going to do is take an n-gon, a regular n-gon. So in this case here, I've got a decagon, so this would be the case where n is 10. But we can think of doing the exact same thing if n is, you know, 12, 14, 2 million and 36, you know, any even number. And what we're going to do is draw a regular n-gon. And what we're going to do is ensure that the height here is 2. So that distance there is going to be 2. OK, cool. What are we going to do with this? Well, we're going to try and work out the area of this n-gon. Obviously, this will be dependent on n. OK, and so the way we're going to do this is by splitting this up into a bunch of these triangles here. So I'm going to look at that, but in particular, I'm actually going to split this isosceles triangle in half like this and focus on this thing here. OK, cool. Let me redraw this triangle. So I've got this, this and this here. Oh, let me draw a straight line there. Cool. And of course, that is a right angle there. And we want to try and work out the area of this triangle. Well, let's see if we can label anything about this triangle. Well, firstly, what's this angle here? So that's the same as this angle over here. Well, we know that there's 360 degrees inside a triangle, or if we use radians, 2 pi. And so because we split this up into n of these triangles, or there would be n of these triangles, there's one here, one here, one here, and so on, there'd be n of them. That means each one has an ang a total angle of 2 pi over n. But since we've bisected it, we need to divide that by 2. So this angle here would simply be pi over n like so. Okay, great, we've got uh, the angle. What else do we know about this triangle? Well, I can actually say what this side length is. It turns out it's just going to be one, because this side length is just half of this total distance here, and we know that that's two here, uh, just by symmetry. So therefore, that distance there is one. Great, so what is this side length here? Well, just using basic trigonometry, that's going to be tan of pi over n. Amazing. So we now know what the opposite side of this triangle is. And so now we can just use a, the very simple half base times height formula to give us the area of this. The area will just be a half times one times tan of pi by n. Amazing. So we know that half of this triangle, so this part here, has area half tan pi, by ten, uh, pi over n. And so therefore this area here will be tan of pi over n. So what's the total area of our n-gon? So the total area of n-gon is going to be n lots of one area of this triangle. So therefore we have n times tan of pi by n. Amazing. Not only have we found uh, a formula for the area of a regular n-gon, but also we can use this now to think about how we're going to evaluate the limit as n goes to infinity of n times tan of pi by n. Well, what happens as n goes to infinity? Well, this thing here is going to get closer and closer and closer to a circle. So let me just draw a circle here. And this circle here, well, what do we know about it? Well, the, the height of it is still going to be 2, or the diameter now. And so therefore, the radius is 1. And so therefore, the area of this is pi r squared, which is just pi. And so therefore, we can conclude that the limit as n goes to infinity of n times tan of pi by n must equal pi. And this is a really, really nice proof that doesn't involve L'Hopital's rule, doesn't it really involve that much calculus, um, just uses some geometry here. Uh, so I hope you have enjoyed this video, a nice little limit problem. Thank you for watching. I'll catch you in the next one. Have a great day.